the Wilson LP Fairway Wood. This thing is feature packed. It doesn't look like it when you first take a look at it. It's quite simple, it's quite basic on first impressions, but it is feature packed. Let's take a look at some of these features and see how they're gonna help you, the golfer. And once we've done that, we'll put it through its paces, hit some balls, and see if I can see any of these features and benefits affecting the actual performance of the golf ball. Wilson lead with a big, big statement. They're telling us that the slice is solved and they've got a number of features within this fairway wood to try and accomplish that. The first feature Wilson have incorporated into this fairway wood to try and get rid of that slice is a moderate offset. And although the offset isn't all that much, it's just going to help close the club first just a few degrees to try and take some of the curvature off your shots. It's also draw bias, so we can assume that there's going to be a little bit more weight in the heel of the golf club. Again, this is trying to promote a slightly more close club first. With the shaft being so lightweight, and it is a little bit soft as well, this, if anything, it's gonna help promote a slightly more close club first, again, in order to try and take some of the curvature off your shots. Wilson also claiming explosive ball speeds. Yes, okay, we've heard this before from many manufacturers, but they're claiming that the face is extremely strong, it's gonna be extremely lightweight, and it's gonna give us high ball speeds consistently across the face. This club is also super lightweight. So Wilson are claiming that we're gonna get extremely high club speeds from a lighter shaft, a lighter head component, and a lighter grip, which in turn should increase launch angles as well. That's something that they're claiming, and it should give us greater distance. So with all of these features, mainly based around trying to stop the golf ball from slicing, and also trying to increase club speed, I'm expecting great things from this. Let's put it to the test. Okay, I'm gonna hit some balls now to see what the ball flight is actually like with this club. There's two main claims with the actual flight of the ball with this club. One is that the flight or the launch angle is a little bit higher, and two, it's gonna be moving the ball from right to left or a draw for me. Now I hit the ball with a draw anyway, so this club doesn't really feel as though it suits me. But what I'm gonna try and do is not try and override the club. Somebody like myself, somebody, a skilled player, has the ability to adapt their swing around the equipment to try and get the ball flight that I'm used to. I'm not gonna try and do that, I'm gonna let the club do what it wants try not to fight what I believe is gonna be an overdraw, just to see if the club actually does promote that type of shot. <clears throat> so we'll hit maybe four, five, six shots or so, and see what sort of ball flight we are getting. Struck that pretty well, and that's quite a heavy draw. Yeah, there was nothing fed about that first shot, was there? Definitely a draw on that one. Let's go. Lovely high draw, this one, this one might miss the bunker. Yeah, that's better. A little bit more in the center of the fairway. Higher draw that time as well. So I know we're only two shots in, but so far I can see that this club really does want to help me move the ball from right to left. There's no two words about that. Let's have another go. And all those bunkers are gonna think. Again, quite a heavy draw on this. Oh, gonna need a bucket and spade at this rate. So three shots in. So far the club face is five degrees closed to the path. So with a club like this, which has 15 degrees of loft, that's gonna tilt the ball on a fairly aggressive axis. And we're actually seeing that ball moving quite a long way from right to left in the air. Feel-wise, I wouldn't like to say that I actually feel the club face twisting or closing. It's quite subtle, again, five degrees isn't a lot. I would probably be around one, two degrees close to a path, usually. This is probably closing the face maybe three, four degrees more than what I would uh, kind of expect which isn't a lot, it's quite subtle. Um, so if you've got a pretty aggressive slice, it's not gonna turn that into a draw. It probably might just take a little bit of the curvature off it, which might be enough for you, you know? It might be enough. I always feel personally as though lessons benefit more than equipment, but 
every little helps. Let's have another go. Pretty much the same shot. It's predictable. That bunker's going to get worn out, I think. Straight in it this time. So that's four shots, all very predictably moving from right to left in the air. I think we'll hit two more, because I think that's going to be sufficient, to be honest. Struck that well. Might carry that bunker. Fingers crossed. Oh, straight in it again. Greenkeeper's going to love me. So five shots, all very predictably moving from right to left. Let's have a, a six shot. And again, I'm not going to try and do anything about this, so this could well end up in that bunker again. If only the hole was as big as that bunker, I'd probably shoot lower scores. I struck that really well. It's drawing, not as heavily this time. It's hit the fairway. Again, I didn't try and stop that from happening, that draw, but it was quite subtle on that occasion. So it's definitely true that this club is making the golf ball move more from right to the left in the air for me. So I can expect for most people, it's going to limit the slice a little bit. Again, it might not be massive, but again, every little bit helps. If it takes a little bit of curvature off, it means that you hit target just a little bit more often than it's worth trying it. It's maybe worth the purchase. So with regards to the club going faster, I couldn't prove or disprove that. A test robot, potentially it may move an extra mile an hour or so but it's not going to be really too much more than that. Ball speed, again, no higher than what I would expect. Launch angle, to be honest, if anything, for me, hitting the shots that I've hit was maybe even just slightly lower than what I expect. It's kind of 12 and a half degrees of launch, which is maybe just a fraction lower than what I would expect through a three wood. So overall, extremely happy to recommend this to people who hit the ball with a slice. If you're looking for extra distance, try it. You may find that you do get a little bit more than this from this than you do with the current three wood, but I wouldn't expect to do so. So thanks for watching this review. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have tried the Wilson LP Fairway Woods, I'd love to hear from you in the comments box below and let me know what you thought of this club. Thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button if you haven't. Press the like button if you haven't. I'll see you all again soon. Take care.